Meiosis II spindle disassembly requires two distinct pathways. Meiosis is the process by which haploid gametes are produced from diploid cells. Gametes are sperm and eggs in humans and spores in budding yeast. In meiosis, cells go from diploid to haploid by undergoing two sequential chromosome segregation events, called meiosis I and meiosis II. The spindle is the apparatus required to segregate the chromosomes. Spindles are built out of microtubules. We study the end of meiosis II, when the spindle structures are disassembled. This is what meiosis II looks like in budding yeast. Let's zoom in on spindle disassembly. This process requires two pathways that use meiotic-specific proteins, the kinase SPS1, which acts downstream of CDC15, and the meiotic activator of the anaphase-promoting complex, AMA1. How these proteins regulate disassembly and how they act to promote spindle disassembly was unknown. We removed each of these proteins and examined the resulting spindle disassembly defects and found that each mutant had different problems, suggesting that each protein regulates a different aspect of spindle disassembly. This result led us to ask if each pathway acted on different targets. We examined three known microtubule binding proteins that act in spindle disassembly during mitosis. We examined BIM1, ACE1, and SYN8. All of these proteins are removed from the spindle when disassembly proceeds normally. Without AMA1, SYN8 and ACE1 are not removed from the spindles, while without SPS1, BIM1 is not removed. This work begins to define the regulatory network used to disassemble spindles after meiosis II, identifying potential targets for these pathways during spindle disassembly in meiosis II.